If your Sims 4 game is crashing, this is the Sims 4 crash fix that you need. In order to fix any kind of Sims 4 error or crashing issue, we are going to do this. We are going to open up our documents folder, not the OneDrive, okay? Pay attention to that. Then we are going to select our electronic arts folder. Now, pay attention to those because if you've done this in the past, you might have several other EA folders, but the one that we are mainly interested in is the electronic arts, just plain and simple EA, not electronic arts copy or backup or nothing like that. Now we are going to right click on the electronic arts folder and we are going to rename it and we are going to add an old, you can even rename it into EA backup. Just know that this is your backup folder and do not delete it under any circumstances. We are going to open up the game, which in this case, it is working. Okay, the EA app is launching, the game is launching as well. If you're dealing with EA app not launching games or the EA app won't even load or launch, I have several other videos about how you can fix EA app not launching right over here. But in our case, the game is opening and we are going to completely close it. I know that nothing shows up in the game because we no longer have the saves, but now we are going to get them back. And we are going to get them back by copying the files that are inside our backup folder that we have just renamed. As we close the game, in the documents folder, you should notice another folder, okay, look at the date, look at the hour that that folder has been generated, so we know that it is the right one, called electronic arts. This is a brand new folder, you can access it, there are no mods, no tree files, no saves whatsoever. We are doing this because we have a completely clean EA folder, which is what we want, so no corrupted saves, no broken mods, nothing. Now, it comes to part of putting our files, aka our families and houses back into the game. And we are going to do that by going back to the EA backup or old folder. We're going to go into The Sims 4, saves, select all those files, right click and then cut them. We are going to go back into the brand new electronic arts folder that has been generated a minute ago. And we are going to access The Sims 4, saves, right click, and paste all those saves. We are going to go back once again into the EA old or backup. And this time we're going to go into The Sims 4 and trade. This contains all of your houses, all of your lots. And we are going to select every single file all the way down, right click, cut them, and then go back into the new electronic arts folder that has been generated, the sims 4, and then the brand new tray folder. Right click on that blank space and paste all those files. I just want you to make sure that you've copied all those files from your saves and tray. Okay, double check. And now we are going to leave the EA folder there for now. If you don't have enough free space, you can delete it if you've made sure that every single file has been copied. When it comes to mods, I don't usually recommend copying your mods from the EA old. If you only have like clothes and furniture, then you can go ahead and do that. But if you also have script mods like UI cheese, MCC, WW, more columns, any kind of mods that adds features, trades into the game, I would suggest to stay away from those and re-download your favorite mods like MCC, UI Cheats, only download the updated versions for them. If they are not updated, then stay away from them. That is how you can fix Sims 4 crashing, Sims 4 not loading, the game will load, the Sims 4 won't crash anymore at startup. I truly hope this video helped you and I will see you in my next video.